This social media post is a painful one, according to Elle Michelle. And I had to read it three times. I, like, am I really seeing this? She's Issaquah School District's communications director, and Sunday night she learned about it. We've blurred the faces in this photo that shows a female student asking a male student to a school dance by saying, if I was black, I'd be picking cotton, but instead, I pick you. It was awful. It was appalling. I think the most immediate thing on our minds was just saying, this is not okay. This is not okay. You know, we do not condone racist speech. Once the post was shared, comments came flooding in from students, parents, and the community, including Seahawks football player Doug Baldwin, who in a tweet stated, I am saddened that this idea was thought of and executed without intervention. Racism is not just taught, it is encouraged through its tolerance. Let's take this as a reminder not only to be more empathetic, but to hold each other more accountable. It's really sad. At worst, it's malicious and mean, and at best, it's ignorant. And either way, we need to change that. Representative Lillian Ortiz Self is one of the sponsors of House Bill 1314, calling for ethnic studies in public schools, grades 7 through 12. In the bill, it states students need to be global citizens in a global society with an appreciation for the contributions of diverse cultures. That's what we're hoping is that ethnic studies will show um, all students, not only about some forefathers, but all forefathers. Every one of us have a history of what brought us here. In Issaquah, they do have curriculum about diversity. And that talks about things like microaggressions, white privilege, intent versus impact. But after this post, the district wants parents and students to know they are listening. That element that we need to make sure that we are speaking to our families of color. What is your student experiencing? Do we need more curriculum? School leaders want this moment to be a teaching one. We just hope that we can all learn from it and grow from it. In Issaquah, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.